Go, 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 go. <laughs> Let's chat. Hey, you guys. Welcome back to another video. I'm sorry it took so long. I was overthinking too much. Dale, it doesn't need to be perfect. So we're back. I'm going to figure out a schedule. But I'm not going to make any promises. <laughs> just wash my hair it's a little puffy but it's different because i feel like it has more volume today i use a diffuser anyways this is not the point the point of this video is i'm going to be giving you guys some health tips but i'm also going to be kind of going over my journey what i learned how i got my results how i was able to maintain my results um and how i made that switch from losing weight to gaining weight all while going to school going to work running a business being a present daughter all of those things so i'm super super excited to be sharing my journey with you guys while i make this video i'm gonna be sipping on this so good so a little bit about me i am 22 years old i am dominican de pura cepa de Villa Alta Gracia. i am from yonkers new york i came when i was one year old so I was practically raised here. I graduated back in May of 2021 with my bachelor's degree in economics from Hunter College. I went to Lehman College for one year. I love the experience. I love the people. I didn't leave because I didn't like it. Um, but Hunter had more of what I wanted to study. Ever since then, I've been running my business from home. I am exploring my career options. So I am super excited for what the future holds. But enough of my background, right? Let's get right into it. I've always loved to work out. I would always either go to the gym because at the time when I was younger, like 12-ish, 13-ish, my mom and I lived in, a, in an apartment condo and they had a gym. So I would always go downstairs and work out for like an hour or so. And I would also follow along Blogilates. So if you look up Blogilates on YouTube, she does videos that you can follow along to and they're Pilates. You're using your body as the weight. So I've always loved to work out. However, when I started college, everything started to catch up because I didn't have the eating habits, right? So in throughout high school, I was really active. I was on the volleyball team. I was on the softball team for one year, even though I sucked at it. But I was really active in high school. I was always doing something. And when college hit me, right, I didn't get the freshman 15. I got the sophomore 15 because during my freshman year of college, I leaving college, I was on the, on the volleyball team. And my coach actually noticed how weak I was. Like I couldn't even hit the ball over the net. That's how weak I was. So she told me to start lifting weights to get stronger. And I did. And I'm so grateful to her because I got stronger throughout the season. And when sophomore year came, I was working out a little bit less. And I was also more busy. So I took on a job as a cashier right after school. And I would literally leave my house super early, five, six in the morning to get to school by eight. I had gaps in between my schedules until one-ish, two-ish, around there. Uh, you would catch me napping on the library floor. I just did not have a lot of energy. I would have lunch, which would most likely be Chipotle. And every day, every day Chipotle. Just imagine the hurt that my bank account was having. After school, I would go to work and would literally have whatever they would have. And a lot of the times what they had was fritura. But still, my eating habits were not there. And eventually that started to catch up, especially leaving work at 12 a.m. Especially to come home and barely sleep because I would come home, probably do homework, probably do something else until it was time to wake up again, wake up super early and repeat the whole process again the next day. I was the heaviest that I have, I have ever, <laughs> I was the heaviest that I've ever been. I was about 150 pounds. And for those of you who don't know me in person, I'm about 5'2", so I'm pretty short. And I was just feeling super sluggish in energy. Eventually, I didn't really like what I saw in the mirror. You know, I saw the chichitos popping out. I was super self-conscious of my body. And I just, I wanted more. And I knew that I deserved more. I deserved to love the skin that I was in. I deserved to love the woman who I was becoming, right? Especially as I'm pursuing this degree, like, 
I want to be proud of who I am. And that meant taking care of myself. That meant sacrificing my I wants right now to a better decision, right? That maybe was healthier so that I could later on enjoy that satisfaction. Because a lot of times we just want to grab what is easy, what is quick, because we're hungry. And it's not usually the healthiest option, right? So I decided to start my journey. Uh, I decided to start eating healthier and I found my sponsor who used Herbalife, still uses Herbalife, and she put me onto the products. So I had been watching her for quite some time. I saw her on Instagram and I followed her and for a long time I was super skeptical about it. I felt like I'll figure it out on my own. I'll get results on my own. I'll just eat healthy, I'll work out, and I'll get results. As the months went by, I was still looking the same, if not worse. I remember taking progress pictures a little bit before I took my actual progress pictures for my journey, and they look worse. It didn't work out. So I ended up getting started, and I remember sharing on Instagram a picture of my products and if I should share my journey. And I remember in that moment just wanting to share my journey for mostly accountability. I wanted to keep myself uh, accountable and keep myself on track with my journey. And I would use my Instagram for that. I I've always liked to post. So it was just a way to me, myself, hold myself accountable for my journey. <laughs> I got started, like I said, 150 pounds, super tired, super sluggish, just ready for change, ready for more. My first month, I got started on a cleanse program. It was a 21-day cleanse program. And I remember committing to that. And listen, when you're ready, you're ready. I made it happen. And it was so convenient. It was so easy. I would literally take my shakes to go on the train to school. I would take my teas to go. I would pack a sandwich for lunch. I would pack some cereal or some granola bars for snacks. And I would come back home. I would have another snack. And I would have my dinner. And it was just so easy and convenient. Mind you, it saved me money too. I didn't have to buy Chipotle every day. Um, there were some days that I still would treat myself, right? But I would stay focused most of the days. So I ended up losing 8 pounds my first month. And I also did start to work out. So this is including home workouts, right? You want to eat healthy. You want to do something that is sustainable. You also want to make sure that you're staying active however you do so. So that can be home workouts. That can be going to the gym. That could be going around your neighborhood doing walks. That could be going for a run. That could be dancing. That could be Zumba. Whatever it is that you love, biking, do it. I lost eight pounds my first month and I was just super in love because especially being skeptical for so many months, I was in love. And the fact that I could eat rice, the fact that I could eat rice, guys, you do not need to stop eating rice to lose weight. And that's one of my biggest tips. You need carbs. So many people want to start a diet, start losing weight. And they just cut bread, they cut rice, they cut pasta. And this is something that is not sustainable. You might be able to do it for a week or two, maybe a month. After that month, you're going to go into like a binge mode. And you're going to be wanting it, craving it so much because you just, um, como se dice? You, you, you forced your body not to have it for so long. So now your cravings for it are going to spike up. What I would recommend is to portion control. So that's what I was doing. I was portion controlling my meals. I was portion controlling the amount of rice that I was eating. When I started my weight loss journey, I would have about half a cup to a cup of rice. And I felt full because not only was I having the rice, but I was also having protein and some type of veggie or salad. So I always aim to have those three macros on my plate carb protein and some type of veggie or salad and i was also drinking my water so that's my second tip to you make sure that you're drinking water so i was drinking about half a gallon to a gallon a day when you drink this amount of water one you're gonna pee a lot but two you're not gonna have time to think about i'm hungry i need a snack no it's go 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 <laughs> And you feel good and your skin is so good for your skin. Drink your water. So, 
moving on i lost a total of 25 pounds just by doing at home workouts i'm gonna put my results somewhere on the screen and i was so happy because it was something that was simple to do simple to follow you know i was having my meal shakes for breakfast and it was just easy on the go they had 200 calories 24 grams of protein low in sugar about six grams of fiber so it was giving my body everything that i needed in a meal but it made sure that i didn't skip meals because that was one thing that i love to do in the mornings was to skip my meal because i would leave so early and i didn't really want to waste money for breakfast because i knew i was going to waste money for lunch so i would sometimes just skip breakfast so the shakes allowed me to just have a quick on the go and i would literally make my shake in like five minutes put it in a shaker cup or something take it to school but i would always blend it and they were delicious like they were literally delicious they taste like milkshakes i still drink them today because i love them my first flavor ever was cookies and cream so freaking good fell in love and let me tell you the the tea those library naps that i mentioned i didn't need them anymore because i had so much energy i started doing homework in between my, my breaks i started going to the gym during my longer breaks and it was amazing like the energy that i felt with the tea i would drink my tea about twice a day with my morning shake and then with an afternoon snack and it had about 85 milligrams of caffeine. I mixed that with the aloe and that would cleanse me internally. So again, my metabolism was being accelerated and I was putting in better nutrients into my body and I was eating better for lunch. So of course you're gonna see results. And I was also drinking my water. Once I reached my goal weight, right? I lost 25 pounds, so now I'm 125 pounds. I see nothing. I was so skinny. My stepmom would always call me chata because I just lost my butt. I lost everything. I was so skinny. And now everybody's thinking, why did you start this? Look, look how you look, right? And I always got comments when I started my journey. Always got comments. And I'm so grateful that I stood firm on my decisions and what I wanted, right? Because I knew that if I stayed consistent and that I followed the plan that I would get the results that I wanted. I need to start gaining back some healthy lean muscle because in order to gain lean muscle weight, you need to lose body fat first. So I was good. So when I started my weight gain journey, I decided that I needed to start going to the gym because I needed to lift heavier. I decided that I needed to implement some protein shakes that I could use to recover. So I started drinking the Herbalife Rebuild Shake which I have right after my workout within 30 minutes it's like a meal because it has 24 grams of protein it has casein and whey it has BCAAs it has L-glutamine so all of these things that are going to help you to build that lean muscle weight but also recover right because now you're literally working with heavy weights and what you're doing is you're breaking down your muscle so I don't know if you know this but when you work out with heavy weights what you're doing is you're breaking down your muscle. You're literally tearing your muscle. So you need to make sure that you're feeding your body good nutrition so that those muscles can repair, can recuperate, and grow back into a healthy form. I stay consistent. Now, the difference between losing weight and gaining weight is that when you're losing weight, you're in a caloric deficit. When you're gaining weight, you're in a caloric surplus. I stay consistent with my workouts. I started eating more no problem <laughs> give me more food my biggest tip stay eating healthy just because you're trying to gain weight does not mean that you can eat whatever you want does not mean that you can go for the pizzas does not mean that it's okay to eat ice cream every other day because you want to make sure that you're gaining healthy weight you don't want that to go to cellulite. You don't want that to go to high cholesterol. You don't want that to go to diabetes because, again, food is literally fuel. And that's going to show in your energy. So when you're eating healthy, you're going to have the energy to go kill your workout the next day. You know what I'm saying? Remove that myth from your mind that you can eat whatever you want when you're trying to gain weight. No, you need to be more intentional now because now you need energy to work out. There are days sometimes that I don't get... For example, all my meals in a day. The next day I try to work out and I'm feeling super weak. So it's important to make sure that you're not skipping meals, to make sure that you're eating foods that are healthy. The hardest part about your journey is going to be consistency. 
doing it one day two days three days may not be hard the hard part is doing it when you don't want to do it so choosing to eat healthy when you're at a birthday party is in those moments that you really have to remember why you're doing this are you doing it for your health are you doing it for your confidence are you doing it to show yourself what you're capable of because let me tell you your your journey is all here i don't know who needs to hear this but your fitness journey is going to start in your mind your body will not go anywhere that your mind is not so what i'm trying to say with that is that if you can't believe you can get through a workout you're not going to get through a workout if you can't believe that you can eat healthy you're not going to eat healthy if you can't believe that you can drink enough water you're not going to drink enough water why because you have already told yourself what you're going to do you have already told yourself what you're capable of so you have to break that negative self-talk and start switching it into positive because guess what we all start somewhere so allow yourself to be a beginner allow yourself to learn allow yourself to make mistakes when i first started working out i really didn't know what i was doing and that's why i started following youtube videos because i wanted to make sure that my form was okay i wanted to make sure that i was going long enough and not just stopping when i felt tired you know what i'm saying and when I first started going to the gym, actually, it was different because now there's people around you. I was so used to working out at home that when I went to the gym, I had gym anxiety. I had gym anxiety. I did not like being around people. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I've never used the Smith machine before. You start making all of these assumptions of what people are going to think about you. But let me tell you, nobody cares. <laughs> Everybody who's going to the gym is there to work on themselves. So nine times out of ten, nobody's looking at you. You think that people are looking at you. Nobody's looking at you. And anybody who is there, for example, and makes you feel any type of way, that's between them and them. But everybody in that gym should be there to work on themselves. And like I said, you have to allow yourself to be a beginner. Sometimes I was at the gym and somebody would come over and give me a tip on maybe my form, on how I could do something better. So you just never know who's willing to help you also. So be open-minded to that. The biggest thing that's going to hold you back is fear. Fear of making mistakes. Fear of having to start over. I have started over so many times so many times and i mean like from one day to the next because you could wake up motivated one day but the next day you can't rely on motivation motivation is a liar discipline is showing up even on the days that you don't want to discipline is eating healthy even on the days that you don't want to discipline is meal prepping even when you don't want to right especially for those of us who have lack of time maybe you don't have a lot of time the days that you cook, cook a little more so that you have enough for a few days. So with consistency and hard work, these are the results that I was able to get. And guys, I've been on my journey for three years. I'm so grateful for everything that I've learned. I'm so grateful for the people that I've met. I'm so grateful for the lives that I'm able to inspire, especially as I continue to share my journey. And let me tell you, it's the best feeling when you set a goal and you reach it. So hold yourself to your word. That if you tell yourself that by this summer you're going to look different, that by this summer you're going to be healthier, show up for yourself every single day. Listen, life is going to happen. Life is going to happen to all of us. But you can't allow what's happening to determine whether you're going to do something for yourself or not, right? Because you still show up to work even when you're sad or you don't feel like it or something's going on you show up so why can't you have that same mindset for yourself i'm gonna show up because i know that if i go to the gym and i eat healthy today i'm gonna feel good i'm gonna get the results that i want i just want to leave you guys with all those little all those little nuggets i am looking forward to helping you i'm looking forward to giving you more information herbalife has helped me so much because I start my day differently. You know, I start my day by listening to a motivational podcast. I start my day reading the Bible. I want to ask you, how do you start your day? Because that's really going to also determine the course of your journey. If you're starting the day, you're rushing to work, you don't have time for nothing. 
just getting your butt out of bed put on some clothes and go to work it's gonna be hard to plan your day you need to set yourself up for success so when i was waking up earlier i was packing my shakes i was packing my lunch i was packing my teas i was packing snacks i was listening to a motivational audio that was gonna get me going for the day in the right mindset ready to take on whatever the day was gonna throw at me so i really encourage you to start your day with some you time the house is quiet i can wake up slowly i don't need to rush i can get ready i can do a workout i can listen to a motivational audio i can read the bible i can listen to some music i can do something for my day that's gonna make me better because let me tell you when you start the day dedicating an hour to yourself to god whatever the case may be you're going to have a better day and like i said going back to what i said before it all starts here so when you're fueling your mental, your journey is going to go much smoother because now you're you're in that mental state of, you know what, whatever comes at me, I can handle it. No problem. No problem mentality. Shoot to become 1% better every single day. By the end of the year, you're going to be 365% better. I know that starting a journey could be hard. I know that you may not know where to start. I know that you probably don't even know what you should be eating, what are the good carbs to be eating, what are the good proteins to be eating. I can help you out with that. I have helped a lot of people online get results and it's amazing. It's amazing what reaching out and just asking can do. I have a form on my YouTube. You can fill that out. I will gladly reach out to you to let you know more about my fitness program, how to get started on your own 21 day program. I love to run it on 21 days because when you focus in on a certain time period, you're able to be more intentional with every day rather than just starting and being like, let's go with the flow. No, start with focus and intention and build those habits in that first month, which is so important. That first month is so important because it's really gonna determine the course of your journey. You gotta take yourself seriously. So that first month that you start, you have to you have to follow the plan. You have to be hard on yourself. You have to be consistent. Because if not, it's gonna be hard to build those habits. Especially since you're breaking old ones, negative ones. It's okay if we haven't met. I don't know a lot of my clients. We actually, we meet online and then I become their coach and it's just amazing to see their results and how they transform. So I'm excited to see how you transform. I can't wait to see your before and after pictures and get started on this journey with you because let me tell you, you really don't know what you're capable of. Just like how I was able to get results, so can you. Like, there is nothing different from me from you. Like, I'm not better than you. I'm not smarter than you. I'm not anything. If I can do it, you can do it. And trust me, when you see results online, don't get jealous. Be inspired by them. Be inspired and tell yourself, if she could do it, I could do it. Like, why not me? Take that mindset. Take that mindset for yourself and start adopting it. And let me tell you, you're going to go so far in life. So... Thank you guys for watching. I can't wait to upload more content. This was definitely more like a one-on-one -on -one getting to know each other. Let me know in the comments below what kind of videos that you want to see. So I can take that into consideration. But again, thank you guys so much. And have a great day.